All right, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Danielle. I am from Texas and I am an English teacher here on Verbling. In today's class, uh, it's the beginner level course and we're going to be looking at adjectives and creating sentences with those adjectives. So hopefully this will be a really fun class and I can't wait to get started. All right, let me say hello to the first student. Hello. Hello. How do you say your name? I'm Abdulaziz. Abdulaziz? Mm. Is that yes. okay? Okay, perfect. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I am from Egypt. From Egypt. Cool. And how long have you been learning English? Repeat. How long have you been studying English? Uh, three months. Three months. Okay. Good. Uh, and why? Oh, what? Start, start January. In January. In January. Cool. And why? Why English? Uh, I uh, now I work in uh, Arabia Saudi. Uh, more people using English. Okay, so more people use English in 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 Saudi Arabia. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, very good. Welcome to class. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. And hello, Jorge. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Is this your first time with me? Yes, I think so. Yeah? Well, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Spain. From Spain. And how long have you been learning English? Well, uh, I uh, started uh, study English uh, on the school, at school, mm -hmm. uh, for years ago, uh, since I was uh, nine years old, I think. Okay. But uh, now I'm studying English uh, seriously, or more mm -hmm. seriously, uh, mm -hmm. for six months uh, ago, I think. Okay. So for six months, or since mm -hmm. six, or since six months, uh, I started. Okay. Good. Started studying English in school. Um, very good. All right, and now you study it more seriously. Well, very, very good. It's nice to meet all of y'all. I am from Texas, and um, I am teaching here on Verbling. And tell me if I talk too fast, okay? Um, because I don't do many beginner classes. Okay. All right, so... Mm, can everyone see Google Chat? Yes. Yes? Okay. We will be using Google Chat. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see. Our first adjective will be cute. Cute. Does everyone know this adjective? Cute. Yeah, what is it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Like beautiful? Mm hmm. Nice. Uh, not, well, kind of. Nice is more like uh, your personality, though. Cute is when, like, oh, I'm, you're so cute. I want to pinch your cheeks, right? Or like a little baby is so cute. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, good. So what what type of things are cute? So babies are cute. What else is cute? A man. A man? Good. Pets. Pets? Good. What else? Maybe uh, things like uh, clothes. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, clothes are cute. Very good. All right, let me he say hello to Maxim. Uh, hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> How are nice you? To, nice to, to meet you. To nice to meet you. How I'm are you fine. today? I'm fine. Thank you good. for asking. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Russia. Russia. And how long have you been learning English? I have been learning uh, maybe one uh, one year. <laughs> okay. So for one year? For one year. Yeah. Good. Very good. And why English? Why? <laughs> uh, why not? <laughs> why not? Okay. Very good. <laughs> All right, very good. Well, welcome to class. Um, okay, it's we're using my first, Go ahead. my first, my first class with you. Yes, it is. Nice to meet you. Uh, we're going to be using the Google Chat. Um, so, do you okay, see that? I, okay. I see. Okay. All right. So we are first describing the word cute. Okay, that's the adjective. So now. Um, let's see, uh, Jorge, give me a sentence with cute. You can use some of the nouns we talked about, or you can create your own sentence. Yeah, your dog is cute. Mm -hmm. Your dog is cute. Very good. All right. Um... Okay, I have the worst memory ever. How do you say your name again? From Egypt, who lives in Abdul Saudi Aziz. Abdul Aziz. Uh, Abdul Can you Aziz. type it? In the chat? Abdul Aziz. Abdul Aziz. Okay, I'll try to remember. Uh huh, thank you. That'll help. All right. Um, okay, give me a sentence with cute. So uh, my, uh, my, uh, my wife is cute. <laughs> good. My wife is cute. Very good. All right, and Maxim, can you give me a sentence with cute? Uh, maybe a cute baby. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. A little, a little child. Cute baby. No. Good. Yep. Those are nouns. Give me a full sentence. Uh, oh, uh, I have a mm -hmm. cute baby. Good. <laughs> Good. Is it true? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yay. Love babies. I have, I have, <laughs> I have two children. <laughs> oh, yay. Uh, what ages? Uh, um, uh, is six years old, mm -hmm. uh, and the daughter uh, seven months. Oh, okay. Seven months. Seven months old. How cute! Very good. She's All a, right. She, she's really cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I bet so. That sounds adorable. Okay. Uh, very good. Now, our next adjective is nerdy. Do we know this adjective? Anyone? No, I know. No? No, no, I don't. No? No. And Maxim, do you? Do you know? Uh, <laughs> one, uh, one of my uh, neighbors is very, very <laughs> new. <nerd. laughs> Is very is <laughs> very nerdy, okay. Very uh, can nerdy. you can you describe what this is to the class? Uh, what is it? It's kind of uh, just one of character, one of special of correct uh, someone. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, who uh, walk walk. To you, uh, all to walk to you. Go ahead, keep going. Go, go to to you and ask a lot of questions. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, maybe. All right, very good. Um, so everyone has a different definition for this word. But nerdy is usually for someone who is very intelligent, uh, but they are not they are not cool. So they're not they're not popular, they're not cool. Um, they wear they wear glasses. Um, they really like school. They like school. Um, does that make sense? Nerdy? At work. At work? Mm hmm So you do you know nerdy people at work? Yeah? So people at work? Mm-hmm. Let me say hello to Sergio real quick. Hello, Sergio. Hi, Yanni. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. 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 How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Thanks for asking. All right. Um, Sergio, we're using the group chat or the Google chat today. Oh, okay. Fine. Okay. Just so you know where we are. Okay, so we just got through describing the word nerdy. Do you nerdy. know this word? Nerdy. Yeah, this is like a, a nerdy, nerdy person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what does that mean? Oh, this is a, a guy that uh, loves study. Uh, uh, actually, he is, oh, he uh, is intelligent, so intelligent, and but he's all like, a, you know, uh, it's, it's, it looks like a, mm, how can I describe? Not a fool, but it's not like a. Mm, uh, oh. mm, I, I think I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, oh it, my it, God. it's someone who's very, very intelligent, but sometimes. Uh, they don't have good communication skills. Yeah. They can't, they can't communicate well sometimes. Sometimes they're. Uh, uh, actually, he is a, uh, this guy is a really introspective, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, sometimes. Yep, usually you describe them as someone who is intelligent, but sometimes not very cool. Right? They're not yeah. the most popular person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. Does everyone understand the word nerdy? Yes. Yes? Good. Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Yes. All right. And hello, Joseph. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking. All right, welcome to class. We're using the Google Chat, so if you have that open, that's where we are. Okay. All right, so uh, Jorge, can you give me a sentence with nerdy? Yes. Uh, my classmate is uh, nerdy, mm -hmm. for example. My classmate is nerdy. Very good. All right. Um, all right, Joseph. Nerdy. Do you know nerdy? Yes, yes. I uh, hear. Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. Do you have an example sentence with nerdy? Uh, she is uh, so nerdy. Uh, uh, he could uh, execute that thing very easily. Mm -hmm. So she is so nerdy that she could. Um, she's so nerdy that she can execute uh, that thing, <laughs> whatever it is, 
that thing very easily. Is that what you were saying? She is so nerdy that she can execute that thing very easily. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, uh, Maxim. Mm, maybe <laughs> uh, she is uh, so so born and uh, nerdy. Nerdy. She's, say it again. So, She's so what? So born. Bird. So bored? Ah, uh, maybe I'm. Mm. So, can you type it in the group chat? C can I pass? <laughs> no, 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 you don't want to say a sentence. Uh, stubborn. 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 Uh -huh. Stubborn. Mm hmm. She's so stubborn and nerdy. Yeah. Mm hmm Is that it? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's so stubborn and nerdy. Good. Is that the word you meant, stubborn? In the group chat, do you see it? Maxim? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I see. Yeah. Is is that the word you wanted, stubborn? Yes, yes. Yeah? Okay, very good. Okay, good. Maxim, can you describe stubborn for your class? For the classmates? Uh, she uh, mm, do <laughs> what what she decide uh, mm -hmm. without Another another person said, uh, "Say to 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 her." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's, so. she's doing it. <laughs> yes, yes. Regardless of what people say, she is going to do it. Very good. Very yes. excellent word, Maxim. Stubborn is a great word. Good job. All right. Uh, let me say hello to Ruth. Ruth. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. Good. And where are you from? I'm from Spain. From Canary Islands. Ah, very nice. Yes. Very cool. And how long have you been studying English? How long? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I have studied um, two years ago. Okay, so for two years. Yes. Yeah? Very good. All right, well, very awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> All right, and let me say hello to Ahmad. Hello, Daniel. <laughs> hello, how are you? All right, how are you, Daniel? I'm <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. All right, very nice to see all of y'all. Welcome to class. Okay, let me go to Sergio. Give me a sentence with nerdy. Nerdy. Okay. Uh, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I'm sure. That's here in BlackBerry. There's some uh, nerdy people. Uh, actually, in the IT area. <laughs> yeah. There's some nerdy people in the IT department. There we go. Very good, very good sentence, Sergio. All right, um, Abdulaziz, can you give me a sentence with nerdy? Uh, my sister is nerdy. <laughs> oh no! Is this true? Yes. 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 Sir. Would she like being called a nerdy? No, uh, a bit. Yeah, she would like that. Yes. Yeah, because she's very, very smart. 
Very good. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. Okay, we are going to talk about the next word now. Mm, okay, let's see. Mm, let's do... Okay, let's do wild. Wild. What is wild? Wild party. Wild party. <laughs> wild party. Very good, Joseph. Okay, so guys, what is wild? Can wild. anyone describe it? What is wild? Survive. Sur survive? Oh, like survive in the wild? Good. But what is it? What is it as um, the adjective? What does wild mean? No domestic. Mhm. Mm Not domestic. Yep. Mhm. Mm so it means like, for example, it's untamed. So um, if an animal is not a pet, it is it is wild. Okay. So an animal that is not domestic or not a pet is can sometimes be wild, right? So they're kind of crazy. They're they're wild, they're untamed. Okay? Does everyone understand wild? Wild? Yes. yes. I understand. Yes. Ah, very good. Okay, perfect. So, uh, guys, what are some things that are wild? Animals. Mm -hmm. Animals, good. Very good. Anything else? What else is wild? Place. Is it parties? Plants. Plans. <laughs> yep. Plans. So do you, what did you say? Uh, uh, what? Uh, places. Oh, did you, places. Places. Uh huh. And good. And uh, root. What did you say? Did you say uh, plants? Plants. Um, hair. <laughs> hair. Yes. <laughs> when or sorry, hair. Yes. Like when um, you when you wake up in the morning. When you wake up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Why? Great example. Great example. All right. Okay. So now let's see. Um, let's start with Abdul Abdulziz with your example first. So give me a sentence. With wild. Uh, dog is wild. What is? Dog. Dog. A dog. dog. Mm -hmm. A dog is wild. Mm -hmm. Is wild. Very good. A dog is wild. Perfect. All right. Uh, let me say hello. Oh goodness. Hello, person with the car. Mm. Hello. Wait. I don't know. Nur, n it's, it's Russian. I think Russian. Uh, it's a Russian uh, name. Characters. I guess. I'm not oh. sure. N Hello. Is your microphone working? Hello. He said hello. He did. Hello. I can't hear you. I see it. I see it. Can you can you speak or type your name? Maybe. Can you type your name? I see hello. Hello. Okay. Well, um if you want to type your name or say hello, uh Unclick your microphone. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, Sergio, the difference uh, between savage... Savage is similar to wild, uh, but it means it's more aggressive. Um, hold on. Let me think of a better way to explain. Um... It's it's like they're violent and they're kind of 
forceful almost. Okay? So that's the difference between savage and wild. Oh, I, I hear you. Hello. You're very quiet. But I can hear you. How are you? I'm, you're, you're very, very, your voice is very soft. Oh no. Oh no, I can't hear you. I can hear like a TV in the background, I think. Or maybe it's you, I can't tell. Can you say hello? Mm. Okay. Well, if you get it to work, say hello. All right. Um, okay, Sergio, does that make sense? Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, so that's the difference. Okay. All right, so Sergio, give me an example with wild or okay. savage or both, if you can. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, when you are working in our sales mm -hmm. uh, department, we have to sometimes have to do to do to have to uh, savage or a wild uh, attitude. Hmm. <laughs> I when think when you are working in the sales department, you have a savage <laughs> attitude. Good. <laughs> yeah. So you have a savage attitude or demeanor. Very good. Mm -hmm. Perfect, Sergio. All right. Uh, Ruth. Uh, one example. The. The tigers that is in the zoo are wild. Mm -hmm. Okay, the theaters that are in the what? So, so. The, the theaters in, like, the movie saw? That's in the zoo. So. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo. Zoo. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, and what is it an animal? What animal is in the zoo? T tigers. 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 Uh-huh. The tigers in the zoo uh, are wild. Yeah. Very good. Perfect sentence. Very good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Maxim. Uh, maybe I have a white idea. Uh huh. So I have a wild idea. What wild is your wild? Idea. What is your wild idea? I don't English. <laughs> I don't <in> English. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> very very good. Okay, Joseph. Uh, last Saturday, I I went to a wild party. Mhm. Mm I went to a wild party. Very good. What does it mean, please? Oh, wild yes. Wild party. Wild party. It means, like, crazy. Oh, There's... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yes. a lot going on, a lot of people. People are, like, swinging from the lights. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I see>. okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, okay, Jorge. <laughs> uh, there was a wild lion... At the circus. Oh, good. I hope oh, not. Yeah. A wild lion at the circus. I, I hope he was tame. Huh? <laughs> 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 All right, very good. Uh, Ahmad? Uh, I, can, I have a question in the <laughs> last sentence. Yes, Joseph. Uh, it is right to, to put 
da, da circus or only I can say uh, circus? What's wait? What's the difference? Mm, say it again. I can say uh, da da circus or it is right to say only circus. Okay, or so you're saying without, there was a... without the word da. Okay, there was a wild lion at circus. Uh, no, I would include the. Mm -hmm. I, I would include it. So there was a wild lion at the circus. Uh, there was a wild lion at circus. Um, to me, it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, to me, I would say at the circus for me. Mm -hmm. but, but, Go ahead. But I can say circus, only circus. What what do you mean? You can uh, say only circus. Yeah, uh, I I'm not uh, being specific. Mm -hmm. um, what is the the rule here? What is the mm -hmm. rule? So, it would be like saying, um, just like you could say there was a wild lion at the zoo. So, um, in English, you can't say, there was a wild lion at zoo. You need to say, at the zoo, or at a zoo, right? There was a wild lion at a zoo in downtown Houston, for example, okay? So you can, go ahead. When I can use only only zoo, only zoo or only circus. Um, yeah, an example, please. Okay, let me think. Circus, only circus. So no. Or only zoo. Or only zoo. Mm, I would still say. Okay, zoos are very big. <laughs> For example, or zoos have a lot of animals, right? Okay. Or circuses, circuses are where people go to be entertained, right? Like that? Yeah, uh, but, but here, why don't you use uh, the word da. Um, because it's circuses in general. We're talking about circuses all over the world. Yeah, in the and in the example that my. The, so like there was a wild lion at the zoo. You're talking about a specific zoo in your mind. Okay, because at at when you use the preposition at. Remember, it's for a specific place. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good question. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right. Uh, I think it was Ahmad. Was it your turn? Yes, yes, my turn. Okay, okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Can I say uh, uh, a wild weather? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's say uh, we had. A wild weather last uh, Friday, for example. Mm -hmm. We had wild weather last Friday. Yep. Yeah, so there was like a big storm or lots of rain or something crazy, right? Yes. Very good. Good job, guys. Okay, we're going to do um, an... Oh, okay. Bye for a second. Okay, we are going to do the next word is going to be pathetic. Pathetic. Does anyone know this word? Mm. Is it something sad or make you feel sad? Mm hmm. Yeah, so sometimes you feel sad for this person or for this thing, right? Uh -huh. I don't feel 
uh, silly. Sometimes it feels silly. Sometimes it's like um, kind of like silly. It's it's when it's you silly. feel. Well. <laughs> can um, for example, uh, I forgot the words to the song. I feel. Uh, you can say I feel pathetic. So it means like I feel like stupid or I feel silly, right? <laughs> okay, something that causes you feel uh, yeah, uh, feeling of sadness or sympathy, probably. Yes, sadness yeah. or sympathy. Mhm. Mm sadness. Embarrassing. Mhm. Mm you can you can use it like that, but it's better to use it with with sadness or, or sympathy, sympathy, or um. Oh, there was another word. What was it? Come back, come back. Um, uh, oh, pity. When you pity someone or something, like you feel you feel bad for them. Pity. Um. Mhm. Mm I don't have uh, the meaning of the word pity. What pity. So pity is when um, when you feel you feel bad, you feel sad for someone, or feel compassionate. Like like when I lose something, for example, opportunity, or I lose uh, 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 I miss the bus, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, is it pity? Uh, mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not when you miss a bus, but when you miss an opportunity. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so, for example, um, okay, but, okay, so, for example, Ahmad, pretend you, you, mm, you did not get the job. You well, did not get the job. So, I, I pity you. Uh -huh. I pity you, okay? Yeah. Not, not you pitying the job, right? So mm -hmm. I pity you, okay? Other person. Mhm. Mm yeah. But you can also, I can pity myself. So, for example, um, I did not do good on a test, okay? Mmm. I pity myself. Oh, yeah. poor me, poor me, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, the word. Is path pathetic, pathetic. So, <clears throat> for example, <clears throat> I am going to ask you the question. Um, let's see, where is my question? Mm, okay, what are some pathetic excuses for not? Staying in touch with a friend. Okay? What are some pathetic excuses? Meaning the excuses, the reasons are not very good. They're kind of sad reasons. They're not good reasons. Okay? Do we understand this question? No. What is no. that? Uh-huh. Okay. So when we say stay in touch, it means you continue to communicate with that person. Uh -huh. So maybe you're in a different city, but you still talk. Okay? Uh -huh. Or you write or you phone call or you email, oh. right? <clears throat> mm -hmm. So stay in touch is like to keep uh, communicating with someone. Too busy, too busy. Too busy. To visit? Um, it could be. It could be to visit, but it's usually simply communicating. So yeah, if you go visit the person, then you stay in touch with them. Mm -hmm. no, no. Exactly. Too, too busy, busy. Oh, you're too busy. Oh, you're giving me an example. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. 
the pronunciation. So, what, what is the pronunciation? Yeah, you're saying it right. Too busy. Busy. It's right. Busy, yeah. Mm -hmm. busy. Say it again. I'm, I'm too busy that I couldn't call you. Mm -hmm. I'm too busy to call you. Right? I'm too busy to call you. Ah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Busy. It's the I best know. one. Say it, Sergio. Say it again. No, it is the best the best one. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most common excuse, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. This can be an example of a pathetic excuse. So, for example, because your friend can say, um, or you can say, mm, I have no time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it is obvious <laughs> that you don't want to say that. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, why a pathetic excuse. Uh, a pathetic, yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Y'all are doing great. Yes, these are good examples of pathetic excuses. What else? Um, let's see. Ahmad. What's a pathetic well, excuse? Pathetic, okay. Uh, I have to, well, yeah. You have to what? Stupid, so. <laughs> no, to, I mean, this sounds a bit stupid uh, to <laughs> give a pathetic uh, <laughs> excuse. <laughs> like, uh, I, I, I lost uh, your number, or, uh, no? Mm -hmm. no <laughs> yes. Mm. I lost your number. Why don't yeah, you stay or, in touch? Uh, I lost your number. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <clears throat> Perfect. Go ahead. Can I say I, I, I lost my cell phone. Uh, mm -hmm. I had to change my number. Uh, I lost my contacts. Mm -hmm. I lost my cell phone, um, so I had to change it, and I lost all my contacts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, exactly. Good, perfect, like three sentences. Good job. Very good. <clears throat> what else? What else is a pathetic excuse for not calling someone or emailing them or staying in touch? When I remember uh, to call him, it's always late and I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and you go to bed. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, so every time I remember to call him, it's oops, it's late and I go to bed. <laughs> Instead of calling him. Oops. Sorry. Every time. Okay. Every time I remember to call him, it's late and I go to bed instead. Very good. Good. Uh, I did have credit. <laughs> My cell phone or something like that. <clears throat> I don't know. Do you call it credit? Credit. I mean, yeah, because you need to uh, to top up your uh, cell phone. I mean, you have to have a bit of money to call. Do you call it credit? Oh, or? Um, like a pay-as-you-go phone? Yes, yeah, something like that, yeah. Um, because some people need to top up every time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you need $1, to like $1 five dollars these things. I, I think know, credit I, balance, I'm not sure. Yeah, you need yeah, you can say that. I need mm, I need to add go ahead, Sergio. No no I, I think it's a, a prepaid prepaid phone. Actually I have no money to talk to talk. <laughs> I have I have no money to talk. Okay, yeah, so I can't I can't add credit uh to to my account for my phone. I'm I'm not oops, phone um, or I need to. Mm, Can I say uh, I have a few money to call you? Um, no, you would say I don't have enough enough money to call you. 
my cell phone was broken. Good. I don't have enough money to call you. My cell phone was broken. Mm hmm Yeah, and sorry, um, Ahmad, I'm not very familiar with the with the correct terminology for like recharging your cell phone or um, like in Costa Rica I would say I need to recharge my phone but that's not the right word it's not mm -hmm. it's not charge like you plug it in it's like yeah I you add know. minutes I, I don't know but uh, I saw this once uh, I have typed the word top up top up oh top yeah. up how is that mm -hmm. used uh, I don't know, but uh, I heard some people say uh, I need the top up. Or can oh, I top, their phone. top up? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's it. I don't know because back in the states, uh, I don't have I don't have minutes. I have yeah, like yeah. a plan. I see. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Like a contract every yes. month. You, yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> uh, your phone never gives. Gives me signal. The phone lines are your phone. Ah, okay. Your phone never uh, has mm, mm, a signal. Maybe signal. Yeah. Uh, no, no network. Mm -hmm. Poor network. Something like that is yeah. not covered. Yeah. No covered. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Has. Your phone never has signal, or it oops, or it it doesn't have a network, um, and the the phone the phone lines are down, not collapsed, unless you literally mean like you can see them. Can you see the phone line, and the phone line is like like the pole is down. Because collapse means like, like that. Yes, yeah, so destroy or something like that. Okay, I, I, so I if you it. can, if you can see them out your window and they are fallen down, you can say collapsed. But if you just mean you cannot reach the person, you cannot, you cannot call the person. You could say the phone lines are down. It means they are not working. Not working, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Ruth? Uh, other example? Mm -hmm. I stole my, my mobile. You what? Say it again. I, sto I stole my mobile. You stole? I stole my... I stole my mobile. My telephone. Uh-huh. You stole it? Like you took it from the <laughs> No? Probably. Wait. Whoa. Everyone's talking at once. I can't hear y'all. <laughs> I had. Ah. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh huh. Thank you, guys. Mm hmm. Yeah. And you can say mobile. But that's in, in Britain, English. So both are correct. You can say, okay. I had my mobile stolen. So okay. I had my mobile stolen. I think that's the spelling, but I don't know. Because in, in, in America, we call it uh, cell phone. But, but you can use mobile. People understand. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's a good excuse. Uh, but be careful because when you say I stole my mobile, I stole it, my mobile. When you say I stole, it means you took it from someone. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 So there's a difference. So you want to say I had my mobile stolen. Okay. Good. Okay. I Very am. good. Perfect, perfect. I, I All guess, right. Uh, I was in in an area without any signal. Uh huh. I was in <laughs> was in an area without any signal. 
good. But remember, staying in touch means like over over lots of time. Okay? So you're right. This is a very, very pathetic excuse. That's not a good excuse, right? But, but if I spend a lot of time in a rural, rural area, uh -huh. uh, and I work there, I couldn't leave. I, I couldn't leave. I couldn't good. leave. It, it can't be a good excuse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good. Yep. Yeah, so if maybe the place that you live or the place that you work, is in an area without any signal, Maybe it's a very good example. Mm -hmm. in the yeah, exactly, in the mountains. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, um, let's see. Abdulaziz, are you back? Yes. Ah, okay. What's your example of a pathetic excuse? I am not leaving Egypt uh, because I work in Arabia, Arabic Saudi. Mm. Okay, give me, okay, so I'm not leaving, I'm not Egypt, living. Egypt uh -huh. with my family. Uh-huh, okay, I'm not living in Egypt. Um, with my I, family. With my family. Uh-huh, so it's, it's hard to stay in touch, right? Because you're not living in Egypt, you're living or you're working in Saudi Arabia. Right? Okay, right. but is is that a pathetic excuse? Again? Is, is it a pathetic excuse? I work in Arabi uh, Arabic Saudi. In Saudi Arabia. Good. Uh, Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. but, but the excuse is not pathetic. It is a good excuse, right? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, yes. Class, do you think his excuse is good or pathetic? Pathetic. Uh, uh, it's what? Pathetic. Pathetic. It's an exception. exception. You think it's pathetic? <laughs> Abdulaziz, <laughs> you think your excuse is pathetic? I don't think so. I think it's a good excuse. I think it's an exception. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so pathetic is, remember, when it's, when it's kind of sad or it's, um, it's, in this in this example, it's not a good excuse. Okay, so it means you give a not very good reason uh, for wanting to stay in contact. But but when you don't live somewhere because of work, that's a good excuse. It's not pathetic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My wife doesn't let me talk to you. <laughs> All right, good, good example. <laughs> okay, so good, good guys. Do we understand pathetic? Ah, uh, yes. 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 Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, can anyone think of other other things or examples that are pathetic? Just in general, some things that are pathetic. <laughs> That's not very nice. I'm not. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. <laughs> no, but but it might be uh, a pathetic uh, answer to that question, probably. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> might be. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah. So Jorge's example was good. All right. <laughs> Okay, very good, guys. Let's do mm, another another um, adjective. Okay. Uh, what about the word word cruel? Cruel. cruel. Mm -hmm. Do we know bad. this word? 
Is the same as uh, Spanish? It's the same as Spanish. It, it, it has the same meaning that, that Spanish. I don't know. What does it mean in Spanish? <laughs> yes, yes, I think it's the, the, the same meme. But it's difficult to the explain. The same word. Go ahead. The same word? Okay, does anyone know how to explain it? It's no? unkind. Uh huh. Yeah? It means you're. It's kind of. Mm, you're very mean. It's. You're. Not evil. Evil is a strong word, but it's not. You're very cruel. It's like. Um, mm, like someone who. Who maybe likes to cause pain to others is very cruel. It means you're very mean. It's a very fancy way to say you're very mean. Mean-spirited. For example, um, you could say, I have a cruel boss. He likes mm, to make us work during all of the national holidays, for example. <clears throat> okay, so he doesn't give you any vacation days. No vacation days. You have a very cruel boss, right? <clears throat> okay, uh, can anyone give me, does, does everyone understand cruel? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, perfect. Okay, we're going to start with Maxim. Can you give me an example with cruel? Uh, can I say uh, cruel about some animals, yes? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, a tiger is a cruel animal. Mm-hmm. Tiger is a cruel animal. Good. Good sentence. Okay, thanks. Did you have a question? No? Uh, no, no. Okay. All right. Okay, uh, let's see. Joseph. Uh, the words that my girlfriend told me when he wanted to broke, broke up with me were so cruel. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Break up with me were <laughs> so cruel. Alright, the words that my girlfriend told me when she wanted to break up with me were so cruel. Very good. Very good, Joseph. Alright, uh, let's see. Um, Jorge. Uh, this child is cruel uh, hurting the cat. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this child is cruel and maybe hurt and hurts the cat? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so the child is cruel uh, and hurts the cat. Or you could say, mm, actually, this child is cruel. Uh, and then you could say she or he, whatever it is, uh, she hurts the cat, right? Good. All right. Ahmad. Um, uh, don't talk about his weight. Uh, it is cruel. <laughs> Good. Don't talk about his weight. It it is cruel. Good. All right. Root, do you have an example? Uh, my friend is cruel when he loves of the other person. Okay, my friend is cruel when he what of the other person? He lo loves. When he loves the other person? Loves. Wait, yes. Love, love. Loves. Like love, like heart? No, love, love. love. Left. Funny, funny, love. When he, when he laughs? No. Okay, laugh. Yes. Laugh. Yes. Oh, laugh. Smile, laugh. Yeah. 
Well. My friend is cruel. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Laughs at the other person. Ah, okay, when you laugh at someone. Yeah. So, okay, good. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, read me the sentence again, Ruth. What? Can you can you read the sentence again for pronunciation? My friend is cruel black at the at the other person. Perfect. Good job. Perfect. All right, Sergio. Okay, uh, guys, keep the eyes out, uh, the eyes open with uh, cool girls. <laughs> Guys, keep your eyes open uh, when it comes to cruel girls. Girls. <laughs> Good. Perfect, Sergio. <laughs> I like your example. All right. Um, Abdul Abdulaziz? Do you have a last example for us, Abdulaziz? Are you still there? Hello? Oh, there you are. Okay. All right, give me an example with cruel. Cruel. Uh, is my work, my manager is cruel. Uh, okay. Uh, at my work, or at work, at work, my manager is cruel. Good. At work, my manager is cruel. Very good. All right. Perfect, guys. All right, so we learned... Um, Let's see, I think four or five different adjectives today. We learned cruel, pathetic, uh, cute, uh, wild, and I think, oh, and nerdy. Okay, yeah, and nerdy. Okay, so hopefully this class was pretty helpful. I enjoyed you all sentences, and um, hope to see you all again soon. Bye guys. Bye bye guys. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.